Hi everybody, this video is going to go over how to deploy the highly vulnerable web application Juice Shop on Heroku. Um, it's a pretty simple procedure. Uh, it just requires for you to sign up for Heroku and then click on the launch button on the GitHub site of the person who developed the Juice Shop. I'm going to go through it right now. However, my process on this video is going to be a little bit different than what's detailed on the document because I already have a Heroku login. So first of all, you're going to want to go to this link posted here. And to follow the link, you're going to have to hold down control and it's going to launch a web browser session. I'm going to pull over my screen over here and you'll see here, sign up for Heroku or if you already have one, log into your account. Um, I'm going to go at the sign up process, but this is detailed in the Word document in detail. It's pretty straightforward, though. Um, nothing too complicated here. So if you ever signed up for any type of application or service online, it's right here. Um, on top of that, you know, you'll have to verify your account and, you know, make sure you set a password. Don't forget your password. So once you have the account signed up and created, what you're going to want to do is then go back to this original link and then click deploy to Heroku. I'm going to click on the deploy to Heroku button now. Keep in mind, I am already logged into the Heroku personal apps. This should open up a new page and have me uh, set up an app name. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to name my app Juicy Jesse. I'd recommend you keep it something simple. Uh, make sure it's available before you click deploy app or it's not going to let you. Uh, hopefully everybody's in the United States. Pick that region. And then finally, we're going to click deploy app. Now, this whole process could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on load. Um, sometimes I've seen it go through relatively quick. But uh, as time goes on, you should see everything go green, and it'll tell you that basically your app is available. Okay, as you can see that the application is finished deploying. Juicy Jesse is available. Check, 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 check. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is click View or um in the documentation might say open app, but we're going to click view and this should open up our very own instance of the juice shop. Now, I recommend that you read everything here. Don't just click through, but read everything here to understand exactly what it's about. Um, you could also click the help getting started if you wanted to launch a little tutorial about the juice shop. Uh, click that there and it's going to tell you basically a little more about the juice shop. Um, here it says this application is riddled with security vulnerabilities. Your progress is, is exploring these is on a scoreboard. Finding the scoreboard itself is actually one of the hacking challenges. So you can't find the scoreboard link anywhere, but we're going to make sure that you guys do get the scoreboard in your next video that I show you.